Okay, guys, it's time for another aquaponics update. Kill! Well, she's gonna, I think she's caught him before we found half a squirrel one time. Okay, so it's been a little while since I did a video. It's wonderful weather. We almost had a little bit of hail yesterday for a few minutes, but it's been gorgeous. Uh, I, I love winter, although I don't know if you could call this winter. I don't know if you can see that sunset, but it's beautiful. So the greenhouse is now buttoned up, not completely, but good enough for government work, as they say. So as you can see, it's been a little worn for wear. You know, this is, I don't know, I think like the seventh year or something. You can see that those, those vents are open, even though it's a bit chilly out here, but that's the, what the vents are supposed to do. What I'm gonna do is seal those little edges so that when it sits like this fully closed, uh, it'll seal up. All the vents are on the front, or the redone vents. You can see they, they go up and down, and each one of these is gonna have its own controller. And actually, I'm not happy with this vent right here. I'm gonna redo it, because it's not, look at that. That's a vent. So the idea is they're both controlled and the north and the south open automatically like magic. So I've been having some foxes or something trying to get in to the greenhouse. And this is my new handy dandy latching mechanism, uh, patent pending. Um, that's a joke, by the way. And the door, a new type of frame, I use a tube inside of a tube and then I spray foam all around it. And it makes for a nice little hinge that actually keeps the door closed. So now you can see this vent is actually open. Okay, so it's actually trying to let some, some, some heat out of the greenhouse. We got the tomato plants doing really, really well. There's some flowers coming in and they're getting ready to hit the roof. Uh, this is a bed that has uh, some Venus flytrap and I harvested all the microgreens from this. So now I replant them. Basically I harvest, replant, harvest, replant. And you know, instead of growing lettuce and stuff, I just started growing microgreens and I'll just keep uh, eating those. I've been getting a salad a day, keeps the doctor away. And you can see here, this is a, a microgreen bed that I've taken, uh, this was one salad. This was about three salads worth right here. So tonight I'm gonna harvest another little section here for another tasty microgreen salad. This is the wine cap mushroom bed, which when I first started, it was kind of a mistake because what I did is I put it over the soil and there was too many worms in there and they started basically composting it. So what I did is I removed all the soil and, and put the, you know, put the, um, the straw back in there. But if you look closely, you can actually see that the mycelium is starting to spread now. And pretty soon this whole entire, and I can tell also it starts to get firmer as the mycelium stretches through the, the straw and the wood chips. And pretty, th pretty soon this, not pretty soon, but at some point, this will be all colonized in white. And then the mushrooms are gonna start popping up out of these little holes right here. And hopefully I will beat the worms this time. Uh, I, I left a few worms in there and hopefully they're not multiplying faster than the mushrooms. Now this is another grow bed that I, I don't know, I think I'm gonna turn this into a composting bed. Um, this was an elder, this is an elderberry uh, plant here that as you can see, I've cropped like crazy. It keeps coming back. You can see it was gigantic, you know, and I cut it all down. And now I also use this for microgreens. So, you know, this half is an elderberry plant and the other half is microgreens that I just planted a few days ago. So they grow really, really fast. I don't know if it's the aquaponics, but literally from planting seeds to sprouting is like a week max. I mean, not only sprouting, but actually having you know, substantial growth. And usually within about, I don't know, six or seven days, I'm ready to start harvesting. Here's another grow bed that of course is full of microgreens. 
and there's one that we've just harvested. So I've been sort of rotating around, um, you know, harvesting the beds, replanting them, harvesting, replanting them. And as you can see, this one is taking off now. It's only a few days old. And of course, these will be harvested. These are the saffron plants right here that already put out some buds. And they're looking really, really well. They're going to spread all over this entire uh, grow bed. They, they put out these little shoots right here that keep, uh, that keep spreading and spreading and spreading. And by the way, 20 shoots is like 30 bucks on Amazon or something like that. So I could actually start selling these shoots if I wanted to. But, uh, you know, this is all an experiment. And now here's the pond. There's the happy fish. Uh, it's kind of dark right now. So I'm going to see if I can turn on the lights. Oh, I can't. I don't know if there's a way for me to turn on the light while I'm in the video. It looks like I can't. But I'm going to, this is a waterproof phone, so I'm going to take a quick dip in the pond and take a look at the, the fishy. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. Oh, there's some fish. There's a catfish. And right now they're probably pretty hungry. I haven't fed them for a couple of days. And as you can see, they're swimming around looking for food. I can always tell when they're, um, I don't know if you could hear me while I was underwater, but you know, I can always tell when they're hungry because they'll start swimming around and foraging. And also the bottom of the tank will be really clean. So that's how I can typically tell uh, that, you know, they've eaten all the food. Here's the north vent. This one is actually pretty, it looks like it's fully, yeah, this one is closed. So I'm going to seal up those edges there and, and button it up nice and tight. Let's see, the temperature in here is a little bit under 60 here on the, this is the, the, the south, the south sun facing side. And this is the cold side. Now there's going to be a water wall. Actually, I'm going to put a, I'm going to rebuild the, the, the ventilator system that runs off of this gutter here. You know, the gutter has pumps that pumps water up to those sprayers. And under here, there's a, a second wall that captures the water again and then recirculates it. And last year I was getting about a 20 degree delta between the hot side and the cold side of the greenhouse. In the, in the real design, this would be a water wall running right dividing the, the cold side from the hot side of the greenhouse. And there's the, the cold and humid section where you grow the mushrooms, fish, plants, and humans. And then there is the warm section where you grow the plants that produce oxygen. And of course, the other side produces CO2. So now I'm gonna go back to the house and, and grab some stuff to pick up. Oh, I also put up some, some uh, tapestries. Um, they're actually sheets that are printed that come from China. But anyways, I put up some tapestries to make the inside of the greenhouse look a little bit more hospitable. And we'll check the outside temp and then I will let you guys go. And thank you so much if you're watching this. I always think like nobody watches these videos, but I guess maybe somebody does. So you can see out here, we're at a little bit over 40. So we've been getting pretty consistently about a 20 degree delta between the outside and the inside temperatures. But of course, you can see there's a lot of air gaps that are gonna be filled. The goal is to fill all the gaps and have this front completely sealed, the north completely sealed, everything completely sealed. And then the vents will be the only thing that allow air uh, in and out of the greenhouse. So that is the plan. And it looks like I need to trim some of those panels down a little bit so they close a little flatter. But any who's, uh, thanks a lot for watching this, if you're watching this. And you guys have a great day.